Hey, what's up guys, it's Drew from Taylor Tech. Today I have a long awaited video showing you how I put my smart mirror together. In this video, I'll show the installation of the Magic Mirror 2 software onto the Raspberry Pi and the configurations needed to make this into a smart mirror. In future videos, I'll show more detailed configurations that can be done with the software, as well as how I put the physical mirror together as far as the building and the construction and the two-way mirror acrylic and how I put it all together to make it work. Now before we get started, I wanna give a big thanks to Michael Tiu. I'm sure I butchered his name. He's the one that created the Magic Mirror 2 software. It's open source, so it's free to use. This video wouldn't be possible without that. So again, thank you. Now let's get into it. So you'll see that I have the uh, Raspberry Pi connected to this monitor here. Here's the Raspberry Pi down here. I have a keyboard and a mouse that just fell. I have a keyboard and mouse hooked up to that Raspberry Pi to control that to get it started. And then after we get everything set up with that connected to the internet and everything, we will control it via VNC on this uh, Windows 10 PC. Let's get started. Okay, so I have the camera pointed at the monitor here hooked up. that's hooked up to the uh, Raspberry Pi. And I just have a keyboard and mouse connected to the Pi to get this started. First thing we'll need to do is get the Raspberry Pi set up, obviously. So if you haven't already, install the latest version of Noobs or Raspbian, however you want to do it. If you're not sure how to do that, check out this video. So the first thing we'll need to do is connect to the Wi-Fi. Um, if you don't know how to do that up here, click on that and simply connect and enter your password. I've already done this step. It's a lot simpler than it used to be on the old versions of Raspbian. Okay, so after we are connected to the internet, we'll need to make sure it's updated. So we will type sudo apt get update. Okay, that took about a minute, and after that you'll do sudo apt-get dist upgrade. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, so we're going to navigate to the var cache apt archives. So just type this command cd var cache apt archives. It'll take you into that folder. And then we'll do sudo apt get queen to remove any of the uh, download files, package, package files that may be in there. After that, we can uh, go ahead and exit out of this and we'll set up VNC to be able to access this remotely. So we'll go into the Raspberry logo, preferences, Raspberry Pi configuration, uh, interfaces, and here we can enable VNC. I've already done so. Uh, I've also enabled SSH because I like to use PuTTY, but for this example, we'll just be using VNC. So go ahead and enable that and click OK. Next thing we'll need to do is get our um, IP address, our local IP address. So type in ifconfig. And then under the WLAN 0, we will have our local IP address. Mine is 192.168.137. Now from here on out, now that VNC is enabled and we know our local IP address, we can use our Windows 10 or Mac desktop and control everything from there. Okay, now on our PC, we'll need to open uh, VNC Viewer. If you don't have this already, 
just go to this address here it'll be in the description below it will be VNC viewer you can get it on any of these devices here I've already done so so I will go in here and I just tested this out but so you can see my Raspberry Pi here but I will start over and my and all you type in is your local IP address so 192 168 137 for me it's what we found in the last step and then you will type in your username and password if you have not changed it yet on your Raspberry Pi which you probably haven't the username will default to Pi and the password to Raspberry I changed mine so I will go ahead and type in my password and there we go this is our Raspberry Pi controlled via VNC viewer on our Windows 10 okay so the first thing that we'll need to do to get the magic mirror installed is open up the terminal and enter in this bash command down here I'll have this in the description down below as well as the link to the site down there also now this bash command is kind of like an automatic installation of magic mirror 2 there's a manual method you could use which uh, is outlined in this web page as well if you were to click on this installation guide we will need to go into there and do a few more things but uh, that's pretty much it uh, th this takes care of 90% of the installation running this bash command so we'll let it do its thing it'll take uh, probably 10 15 20 minutes or so and we'll get back and do the rest of the configuration okay so it'll ask if you want to use PM2 for auto starting of your magic mirror that will basically turn the screen on when it'll turn it'll start magic mirror when the uh, pi restarts so I will click yes okay so after the program finishes installing it auto boots up into the magic mirror program full screen so you can do control Q to get out and we can do within the magic mirror folder we can do PM2 Stop. Oh, it restarted. Control Q. PM2 stop. Magic. Mirror. And we can see here that it did stop the program. So to restart it, we can do PM2 start magic mirror. And that will bring it back up. But we don't want to do that just yet. We have a few more configuration things to do go back into the uh, installation guide here and we will go down to updating your magic mirror so we'll do a git pull and npm install just to make sure that everything is completely up to date within the magic mirror folder git pull Uh, it's already up to date obviously because we just installed it but it will go ahead and try to reinstall it and then um, if you do need a update down the road it will display at the top of your magic mirror that it does need an update so this is what you'll do you'll do git pull and an npm install now if you need to rotate the screen we will do display rotate equals one and we will also add avoid warnings equals one into the sudo nano boot config.txt file. So within Magic Mirror again, we'll do sudo nano boot config.txt. And uh, here you can do a few different things that you may need to do as far as uh, HDMI, HDMI force hot plug if you need to do that 
if your monitor display isn't showing up or things like that. But we will go all the way down to the bottom and add display rotate equals one and avoid warnings equals one. This will log us out of the VNC server, but we'll just have to log back in once it does fully reboot. Okay, so after the reboot, you can't see it, but on the main monitor it is at 90 degrees. That's why the showing so long of a display here. So we'll go back into the terminal and do a few more housekeeping things. First one will be to, first of all, we'll go back into the Magic Mirror folder. And we'll install this unclutter it auto hides the, mo the mouse cursor. So we'll do sudo apt-get install on clutter. Okay, so unclutter is installed now, and we'll also need to disable the screensaver for the power saving and those things. So to do that, we'll get out of the Magic Mirror folder. And we will enter that command you see on the left there, sudo nano. So we enter this file here and we will copy the lines that it says to copy down there. So at X set, press no blank. At X set, press off. And at X set, dash DPMS. And we'll do control exit, or control X to exit and Y to save enter and the next one we'll enter is sudo nano slash etc slash like dm slash like dm dot config then we'll add the following lines below c defaults server dash command equals x space dash s space dash dpms and we will save save enter so next we'll need to disable wi-fi power save so we will enter sudo nano add this line Options, take one, turn two, CU, RTW underscore, power underscore, M, G, N, T, equals zero, space, RT, W underscore, E, N, U, S, G, S, S, equals one, RT, W underscore, I, P, S, underscore, and load, equals one. Control X, Y, enter to save, and we will do a couple more of these, and then we'll be done with this part sudo nano slash etc network 
Push interfaces. Wireless power off. Save. Yes. Enter. Now we'll need to reboot. Pseudo reboot. Oops. Enter. Okay, so after the reboot, we'll need to add an auto start script to auto start after rebooting. So we'll open up another terminal here. We already have PM2 installed from the auto install. So we'll need to uh, start the script by doing PM2 startup. It'll bring up this command that needs to be entered. So we'll control copy and paste that. And it will install everything it needs to install. After that is done, we need to create the script. So we will nano mm mm.sh and then I've already done this because I made a slight mistake so it's already in here but you won't have anything you'll need to add this here display equals colon zero npm and start inside the magic here folder you will need to write it out control o enter and then exit now we'll be able to restart using the pm2 commands just as we could before uh, this is assuming that you just installed it, but now it will also restart. So we'll just try it out again. PM2 start mm.sh. So as you can see, we have two instances here. Ideally, you'd only have one, but I called it something different. And there we go, just boot it up. I'll exit out of here again, and I will do a pseudo restart, reboot, and see if it displays the magic mirror on reboot. Okay, I went ahead and stopped this instance real quick because I just realized that I did skip this one step. So after you start the magic mirror with uh, that command you'll need to go back and save all the scripts just in case something didn't save correctly so ideally you wouldn't do this at this point but I will enter the PM2 save and make sure everything is saved okay during the reboot I don't think I lost anything but that's what that's there for is so you did not lose any of the scripts now on this side you can see that you have these options if you it depends what you call it um, in this example it calls it mm it's a little shorter and easier but in my case I have it called magic mirror that's what the automatic install defaults to is magic mirror so some of these commands will need to change from mm to magic mirror you can have two instances running but there's no need so change these from mm to magic mirror to run any of the commands so for instance, PM2 logs magic mirror. Okay, so we have the basics set up now, so everything is good to go. Obviously you will need to change some of the configurations, which I will get into much more detail in another video, but uh, just as a general idea, these are some of the different configurations that can be changed and in order to get into the file that you need to change that you'll need to go into the magic mirror folder and type okay nano config slash config.js and then within this file is what you make the actual changes to. So just as an example, I have the language as English here. And here are your different options that you can change for the general. 
Um, time format, I'll change it to 12 from 24. Where is that on here? Here it is, time format. So possible values are 12 or 24, so I just change it to 12. Uh, units, uh, I, I prefer Imperial, so I'll change that to Imperial. Uh, the clock actually goes off of the Raspberry Pi's clock, so I'll need to change that. That's off. You can see my it's 8.06 p.m. and it's showing 1.06. It did change up here, so we are good to go there. Uh, I'll do one more small config. Uh, get back into Magic Mirror config, and uh, let's see. We can change the location of the different things. Let's change the calendar to the top right, and if. For instance, you have multiple things in top left. Let's say you have all three of these top left. It will order them in the order that they are in the file. So if notif update notification was on top left, clock and calendar in this order, this one would be on top, this one would be in the middle, and this one would be on the bottom. So if you don't know basic Linux uh, configurations and how Linux works it may be a little challenging at first a week ago I had no idea how to do any of this but as long as you understand the bracket system that's the main thing basically the var config has a its first open curly bracket and then the module has a bracket here open bracket close bracket comma open bracket module close bracket comma open bracket and so on so it, each module that you add within this module section will need to have an open curly bracket, the module name, etc., which is in the config file options, or I'm sorry, in the config uh, example, which I'll get more into detail in another video. Uh, it will need to have the module name and the different configuration options, and then closed curly comma and then the next one. So anyway, we change the, or we change the calendar to the top right here, and we'll save, yes, enter. And I'll do a, and go back home, CD. And we'll do a PM2 restart. Magic mirror. Give it about five seconds and it should open up. Now we can see the uh, calendars on the top right here showing the US holidays and our time is now correct also. And uh, here's the bottom half because like I said this is showing the display rotated on the actual display long ways so that's why this is showing like this so here it is real quick on the external display just so you can see that the display is rotated and that's how it will look there's no mouse cursor because we got rid of that so this should auto boot every time the raspberry pi boots up and stay just like this all right guys that's it for this one i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something new Make sure you subscribe to not miss out on the next one or two or three videos coming out in this series. Next one will be how I put the mirror physically together and then after that I will show different modules and how they can be configured to make your smart mirror personalized just for you. Once again hit that subscribe button, check out some of my other videos as well as the next ones coming up in this series and hit the like button down below so I know that you enjoy these kind of videos. See you in the next one.